What's up everybody, Ryan Parasol here with the Occupational Memers, back with another episode of Let's Play Chrono Trigger. This is episode 14, um, last time we died against the Zombor boss, so yeah, we're redoing that. I've uh, caught us all the way back up to right when we're about to fight him. One thing that I missed and I actually found um, as I was redoing that is if you talk to the knight in the gold, like the chef's brother, back at the beginning of the, um, of the bridge, if you talk to him after and basically say yes, you'll help fight the, the fiends or whatever, he gives you this golden helm here, which is better than the iron helm that we had on him earlier. So that's good. I'm glad we got that, because dying was uh, not for nothing. But we should be able to beat this guy this time. Now we know uh, what's up with his immunities and stuff. I remember I had like a vague idea of what his... Um, or his absorbs, what he, what elements he absorbed. I had a vague idea of it last time, but I wasn't very sure, and I got screwed over. I also need to remember to keep my party above a reasonable amount of health, because they do a lot of damage. Um, he's got like a big AoE attack, so... Shit, I forgot, I forgot again. I think ice is... No, ice is top. You want to use ice on top, fire on bottom. All right? Let's check that, just to be sure. Yeah, ice on top, fire on bottom. I think just using Cyclone on Krona is going to be best, because, yeah, that does pretty solid damage to both of them. And he's not going to be doing more than that with lightning. I know one of the top, one of the sides is immune to lightning, too. I think it's the top side. I'm probably not going to even use it, so it won't matter. If you do want to use it, though, I'm pretty sure the top side is the one that's immune to lightning. Actually, I don't think so. I don't remember. Oh, I forgot to heal. Wasn't paying attention. I literally just said, gotta remember to keep my party healthy, and then I forgot to do it. It's okay though, we should just use a potion on yeah. And then we'll do this. To keep everybody topped off. Oh, good thing we used that potion. Ah, oh, he wouldn't have died. She wouldn't have died. There we go. We're in a great condition. He hasn't used his death, death, death attack yet. Which was the, uh... Blood, blood, blood. He's got that one. He's got blood, 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 and death, death, death. Pretty tanky, though. Pretty bulky. He's taking a lot of hits from us. Steals MP. How much? Oh, all of it? Oh, it died. Okay. Say, like, holy shit. Um, was fire bottom? Yeah, fire was bottom. There we go. Good shit, boys. And girls. Oh, I forgot to comment on this. Um, you'll notice the four. Let me actually change one thing before I say something. There we go. Get rid of that, too. Um, so the f you'll notice the format that I've had this set up is a little bit different. Um, I have never played on the Desmumi emulator before, so I've played on a lot of other emulators, but I've just never used this one. This is the one that I um, am using for this playthrough, obviously, is Desmume. Um, and yeah, I had it. I didn't know that I could uh, flip it, so the screens were like this. I think this is going to be a lot better for the, just the viewing experience in general. Um, and I'll keep it like this for the rest of the playthrough. Really sorry that I didn't have it like this for the first uh, 13 parts, but I'll have it on for most of the playthrough because we're not even close to halfway done with the game. So, yeah. Sorry about that, but it looks better now, so I'm glad that I got it looking better. Um, what time are we at? Four minutes, okay. Yeah. Figure I should comment on that, not just completely swap the format and then not say anything about it. Alright, where, where do we want to go first? I'll go to the market first and buy some shit. 
The hero is coming last. Yeah, it's me. Right? I think I'm the hero. Probably the hero. Let's see if there's anything sick, nasty, cool to buy. Nothing. My thanks. Dangerous with all the monsters. I'm so bored. I think there was a capsule in here I saw. Oh. Well. It's locked. Fiend Lord is a master of arcane magic of old. The cantrips of his fiends are nothing compared to what he wields. What, his Dungeons and Dragons characters? Sir Cyrus. Really hasn't deserted the kingdom. Who's Sir Cyrus? I think they mentioned him last time we were here. Very briefly. Let's go to the inn and take a quick nap. There's a bunch of people here. Creepy nun. Pray the world... The end of the world is at hand. That's fucked up. Pessimistic as hell. Tales of the legendary Masamune sleep deep within the Dendaro Mountains, but they say a terrible beast rests there as well, guarding the blade. Oh, we're gonna go get that shit. That sounds hypey, as the cool kids say. Are the rumors true? Is the Fiend Lord's army truly closing in? Well, the mythical heroes appeared, so I'm sure we'll be all right. Wanna hear something interesting? Oh, sure. The Dendaro Mountains to the east are filled with monsters called Ogans that wield huge hammers. But burn their weapons and their pussycats. Okay, so Ogans, we want to use fire against them. Keep that in mind. Many people visit inns if you're searching for someone. Inns are a fine place to ask. By the way, did you know whirlwind energy will dissipate if it's hit with a wind slash? Which is a way of bouncing things out. Okay, so if we find whirlwind energy, use wind slash. Magus is trying to summon a terrible evil. If he succeeds, there will be no quarter for us. We'll all perish. That's why I, I mean to keep hitting the bottom of this mug. Nice. What's up? You're looking for the hero? We may have better luck down south of the village of Poor. They say that's where he's from. Okay. 50 to sleep, sure. Wonderful. Vandafa. Luca looks so weird when she's sleeping without her hat on. All right, let's go to this elder's house. It's probably some popping, something popping over here. The item I seek is the mythical rainbow shell. Here's some money to cover your expenses. You'll have the rest when you've retrieved it. I am counting on you, Toma. Where's Toma? Worry not. They call me legendary explorer without. They do not come to legendary explorer without reason. I will not disappoint. I'll be waiting. Good news. Rainbow shell. Good. Drink down the road. Okay, I guess we can go talk to him. Uh, at the bar, he's having a drink. The ancient sword, the Masamune, can slay the fiend lord, and only a chosen hero of legend can wield the blade. Cool. With the rainbow shell, we could make prismatic armor to guard against magic. Yeah, I worry I may have misplaced trust in the young man. He claims to be a great explorer, but was I right to believe him? Stop all the bad monsters. Yeah, I'm here. I'm right here. I'm the hero. Magus keeps sight. Blah, blah. Magus's keep sits on the island to the east, and the sheer the sheer cliffs surrounding it makes it inaccessible. Commands three fearsome generals: Ozzy, Flea, and Slash. Best stay far away from a lot of them. There's not a drop of humanity to found amongst them. They're fiends through and through. Let's go talk to Toma. Oh shit! This isn't the inn. This is the inn. There he is. Got some information for you if you'd care to buy me a drink. Sure. My thanks. Barkeeper, another round. Word has it an odd beast taking up residence deep in the southern woods. Strange to say. Oh, a monstrous frog. Okay. So, wait, where did he say that? A southern wood. That's where the frog is at. Cool. We'll go get frog back in our squad. I love frog. Frog is the legend, frog is the man. My husband Marco hasn't returned from the war, but we planted in ten of these woods together, so I mean to my my best to protect them until the day he returns. Alright. They're actually hinting at a lot of later side quests with the, the prism shell or the rainbow shell and these woods here. Um, this will all be involved in side quests later. Alright, let's go here first. No, let's not go here first. That cursed woods is where Frog is at, I believe. Let's go down to this village and try to find this hero though. 
Okay, so we can get this for the girls. And then we can get that for everyone. Okay, get that. Get you that. Alright. The reason I haven't been selling our old equipment is just because I haven't needed the money lately. Um, if we do get into a situation where uh, I need more money to buy something, I'll sell all our stuff. But I don't need to yet, so I don't feel like doing it. It's the boy from this very village. Have you heard the latest? No. Oh shit, I said yes, but I said no aloud. Legend here is from our own village. What the hell? Okay, so you just said the same thing twice. Can't believe the naughty little urchin Tata is legendary hero. Oh, he's a naughty little urchin. Nice. I love urchins. Uh, I'm sure. It's on a small island, it seems. But there's the rub. I don't know which one. The money in front of me is all gone. Oh, what should, what should I do? Things are a lot quieter without that brat around. Nice. Well, he's the legendary hero, so you gotta deal with him. My own son, legendary hero. Seems I sired myself a champion. Can't say I truly see it, but I don't suppose I ought to question good fortune. Father of a hero. I like the ring of it. Sounds like everyone hates this Tata kid. That's for my side of the family. Sure it is, buddy. You're gonna be Tata's bride one day. Alright. Some spice jerky. Uh, we'll get some more of that later for her. Find a way to open them and they're yours. Someone already told me that, so. Cursed woods are scary. Yep. Tata bears the hero's badge. At first I thought it was fake, but it's a genuine article. He truly is the hero legend. I expect he's. Combing the Dendaro Mountains for the sword of... He's looking... Okay, whatever. He's at Dendaro Mountains looking for the uh, Masamune. That's what they're telling me. Let's go here and uh, get Frog if we can now. I'm not sure if we can. We can try. Mid Potion. Shelter. We juked all of them. Okay, Frog is down in here. Magic scarf. I'll clip that on Luca too. There you go. Now they both have magic scarves, so they'll both be dishing out good deeps. Who's there? It is I, Dio. Come to practice your sword play. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, can't open that. Okay, I thought that was a chest. Is Majesty wounded? I see. Pray forgive me, but I'd like to be alone. Aww. A knight's honor. I fucking- I love Frog, man. I think he like- I don't know. I'm no hero. There's not I can do to help. Just like the- I've mentioned this a couple times in the Let's Play already, so forgive me for repeating myself, but the- This archetype of like the noble hero with like the shattered honor is so awesome to me. I just love- I love like the- Oh, I missed everybody. I could have gotten a, uh, a three-man there, probably. I really love just the... Um... Can I get three here? I keep interrupting myself because I'm trying to do some combat. doesn't look like it. I really just love the... Um... I love that character, that character theme there, that character trait in characters in all sorts of media of just like, just honor and valor. Love that. I think it's so cool. The edible frog is their name. That's kind of weird. Can you get both? Doesn't look like it.
really no reason for us to be saving our MP here because we could just go like stop at the end before we go to the, the mountain, but whatever. Whatever. I'm actually taking heli damage though. Oh ding! Edible Frog is such a weird name. He's the edible version of our party member. Alright. Oh shit. I didn't really want to fight any more enemies there. I didn't really want to fight any enemies there, actually. Okay, here's those mountains, I believe. Yeah, Dindaro Mountains. That's probably how it's pronounced. Dendar Dendoro? Dendoro. Okay, I think those guys are those... No, they're not. Never mind. Yikes. Five damage. And he, like, falls asleep. What the hell? We'll do that and get two of them. Nice. Chrono's a badass. Let's do... Let's get both of them with that. I love Antipode Bomb. And you get... Oh, those guys are weak to something. Fire Water. I really love Antipode Bomb. And you get stronger versions of it later too. And like the final version of it is so crazy. Who's this asshole? He's running for his life from one monster. Oh, I love the music here. Boom, boom, ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom. Wow, we one-shot him. Those guys are super squishy. So that guy couldn't even take that weak-ass monster. You best run away while you can. I don't know about that, buddy. Oh, those are those guys that they're talking about earlier that you need to use fire on. And then his weapon will burn. Yeah. And now we can actually, like before if we tried to attack him, he would take like almost no damage. Like you saw the flamethrower only did like 50 or something. Let's give this chest. Fenian water. What are we at now for time here? 17 minutes? Yeah, I'll call this a, uh, this an episode. Um, let me... Pull this up and pause. Well, that'll be uh, t all for today's episode. Next time, we'll see what's going on with that little kid that was running around. We'll try to find the legendary hero. Um, maybe keep combing these mountains for the Masamune. Hopefully get Frog on our team. So, until then, this has been part 14, I think, of Let's Play Corona Trigger. I'm Ryan Parasol, the Occupational Memers. And peace out, everybody. Have a great day.